I'm Sidney Muldrow, uh, the first president of a very special school. Uh, Locke High School uh, was conceived back in 1967, uh, two years uh, after um, unrest. And that unrest included the Watch Riots um, that really kind of tarnished the community. But this brand new school came to be to uplift the community. And our mission as a new student body was to move the school forward. With all of the negative ads coming out that the school wasn't going to last, uh, we were going to fail, uh, we could have been called bulldogs or tigers or lions or even devils, according to the media. But I came up with a word called saints and uh, a motto, once a saint, always a saint. And that's what is carried through. The spirit of those words uh, still sustain themselves today. With the decay in finances for schools, uh, basically, the first thing to go are music and sports. I come back to the school uh, because I care about it. I'm an alumni, and I want the young people to have something to follow behind. The school needs money. Uh, we have an articulated list of things, a, a wish list, should we say. Instruments, for example. They're using instruments back from when I was at the school in 69 and 70 and they're all pieced together with tape and with all kinds of things. I want to hit something. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I'm a reasonable guy, but you know, it's, it's, it's to the point where I need to go out back, get an ax and chop down the tree and just get it all out. And, and that's because I built something here for these kids, um, you know, over these nine years. And it hurts, it hurts deep when you, you stayed here for these kids. And to see it, once you built something, we won four city championships, to see it slowly dismantled, it, it, just, it just hurts. The band director has been very noble in sticking around and staying and supporting the kids. He's been there for nine years, and basically he's almost ready to fold up and leave. But I hope that you can lend a hand and help us. Uh, they have need for instruments, for band uniforms, for equipment, for computers in today's age to be able to review and to learn uh, technologies and music uh, that are much more advanced than what we had before. The athletic department is another department that I have a passion for because I was an athlete myself. <laughs> and so when I go to the weight room and there's big holes in the floor that they have to board up, I go to the football field. And the field is full of holes and dips. And I just feel so bad uh, because the kids are striving to, to make things happen. Uh, and they're still working with the worst of conditions. Um, they have a, a track that was literally coming apart when I went there. Pieces were all over the track, all over the uh, football field. How can you run <laughs> on something like that? The problem is now we can't host track meets because no one wants to come and run on this track. That track was occupied by uh, an Olympic gold medalist, Valerie Bristol Hooks. We need you guys to come to the aid of the school to help sustain it, to help bring it back to where it was at, because the kids are there, the numbers are there, but the money's not there. We have new facilities down the street all around us. We're losing a lot of kids because kids want to play somewhere where they feel that, that the, the People have put up the money to show they care, that the, the field's nice. There's not potholes, gopher holes, broken sprinkler heads. And those are things that are happen in, in older facilities, and they need to be tended to. And, and unfortunately right now, for, for a few reasons, they're not being tended to, um, and one of them being because of the financial commitment. It's, 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 there's, it's a lot of money. Money is always needed when the students are here, yes, and we need a great deal of it because we... You know, we're working on instruments from the 1970s. You know, I, when I, I bought some my first year, you know, that's last as long, but that's 2005, now it's 2014. They're ready to be replaced. There's no money for that. What we don't have in material things, we have in the support from the staff. Like, um, and it's not only about the music program, let's say um, 
they go above and beyond the Call of Duty. I, I feel like we're very fortunate to be here with the school with a music program because there are a lot of schools around LAUSD that are getting their program shut down. And the fact that it's still here is, is just great. I plan on giving back to my community because my community is one of the reasons I plan like on going into the field of music because I think music brings people together as like a whole. I came up with an idea to really commemorate the graduates of Block High School over the years. And I want to create a Hall of Fame that will be there forever. These people that have left a footprint, not only in their community, but in the entertainment industry, uh, athletics, professional industries. But I think to put them on display, the students are gonna go and pass by this place this Hall of Fame that will be enclosed in where people can look in and read the captions of who these people are, the baseball stars, the football stars, the entertainers, the uh, scholars, whatever, and get excited and say, you know what? They all went to Locke. I could do that. This is what it's about. This is about capturing a moment in time and taking it into the future. We took the kids where they were and took them as far as we could to where we wanted them to be. And most of the kids surprised us because there's not any lack of brains, let me tell you. Like many urban schools, not just in Los Angeles, many urban schools across the nation, it encountered real problems, problems in changing demographics, problems in shifting staff, um, and these problems uh, have left their mark. Hey guys, we need to you know, send some of the monies that we have in our chapter back into these communities here that, so we can help the kids get out of the situations at the end and, and, and know that we are behind them. When, when they watch us play out there, they can say, oh man, you know, I met uh, whoever or whoever, you know, and he's a nice guy and, and, and he's uh, a guy that's willing to help us and help my parents and help us you know, to, to, to go forward. That's what uh, we need to do. This school is an institution. Uh, we had uh, team players then, and we have team players now, but we need money even more so now to make it all last. Mm -hmm.